Uh, I'd like to thank the Justice Research Institute for uh, inviting me to participate in this crucial conversation. Of course, I am very much a part of the Institute and uh, I'm happy that they uh, remembered me. I must commend them for the quality of speakers, both uh, international and local. I, I think uh, that they've done very well in bringing together all of the different views and all of the different, uh, all of the different textures of opinion on appointment of judges and the larger questions around the administration of justice uh, system. I, I, I've had the privilege uh, uh, of uh, experiencing many parts, if you like, of uh, our profession and the public service. And uh, I just as you've heard, I've been uh, attorney general in Lagos. I was uh, also, of course, I'm still, I think I consider myself an academic a uh, private practitioner and now a politician. So I know that they, so I know that, you know, there are very many different aspects of the questions that uh, we're faced with today. And there are many different, uh, if you like, uh, there are many different contours to this issue. And, but one thing that stands out, and I think I would like us to just focus our minds on that, is that the question of the integrity of our judicial system is central to everything. And I mean everything. It is central to how our economy works because our judiciary arbitrates on all economic disputes, commercial disputes, etc. It is central to social justice. It is central to the maintenance of rights of citizens. It is central to democracy, as we've seen. The courts decide at the end of the day who was properly elected or who was not properly elected. So even sometimes way beyond what the electorate do, the judiciary decide practically who becomes who. So the, so the question of those who make those decisions, how they are appointed, who they are, is absolutely, is absolutely important. If people feel that justice is impossible, if people feel that way, then they lose hope in the system. And then, of course, they may resort to self-help. Now, it is unfair to simply say that our problem is bad judges. You know, and, and the reason why I can say so is because in some senses, I've, looked, I've seen all sides of the issue. As I said, you know, I'm today a politician. So I've seen all sides of this matter. So you can't simply say, look, the problem we have is bad judges. You can't pick out the judiciary alone for censure where you are talking of some of the failures in our system of administration of justice. I must say to you that our system of administration of justice is under pressure, under severe pressure, especially from an elite that wants to get ahead at all costs. We have an elite, and when I speak of the elite, I speak of you know, the, the Nigerian elite, both political, religious, commercial, you know, the business elite, everyone wants to get ahead. We want to own things. We want to control things. And it's a winner-takes-all situation. We want to own the judges too. So the elite, the, the, the Nigerian elite, the politicians, the, the, the business elite, people want to own things because they want to be sure of all the outcomes. And they want all the outcomes to favor them. So when Justice uh, Amin Aogi said uh, lobbying starts where a politician wants his own person to be on the bench, she's absolutely right. She's spot on. Most politicians, and practically everybody else, want their own person on the bench because they want the outcome to favor them. Everybody, that's the same pressure that, that, that we have with uh, respect to, uh, um, uh, to federal character. So federal character is no longer necessarily seen as choosing the best from a particular zone or a particular state. It is the interests in, those, in that state or that zone who want to further their own, uh, who want to further their, their, uh, their own purposes that would want to come together to ensure that the person who is appointed is not necessarily the best, but is the one that is most suited to their own purposes. This is a problem that we have. And I want to say that this is a natural human uh, feeling most people in the world would rather have a situation where everything worked in their favor. That's what will happen in most places in the world. Whether it is America, England, wherever, they'd rather have somebody who will favor them. 
who favor their own point of view. But the point that I, I'd like us to, uh, to, uh, to, to bear in mind is that every nation that has succeeded makes up its mind at some point that how do we give ourselves the best, of, the best environment, the best circumstances to succeed? How do we do that? How do we give ourselves the best environment, the best circumstances? So a frank and honest discussion at some point is usually necessary. Where it comes to administration of justice, that frank and honest discussion must come between the legal profession, the judiciary itself, the executive, the legislature, and the very many elite interests in our society. We must come together to ask ourselves a question. Absolutely. How do we decide? To, how, why should we appoint honest umpires? Why? Why do we need honest judges? Why do we need to put, put forward the best team? We must ask ourselves those questions. And what is, the, what is the next best thing to do? We must all sit together and ask those questions. Because if we leave it to what is going on at the moment and to the system that's going on at the moment, we're headed in the wrong direction, clearly headed in the wrong direction. Because interests, just as uh, Justice Algi has pointed out, private interests, group interests, political interests, influence, how judges are appointed, and that and that and that's a big it's a big problem going forward. So it's a selfless and, and as I said, you know, it's a selfless and patriotic duty that we must, as an elite, sit down to to talk about and to decide. We must choose. We must decide that if we choose judges because they believe because we believe that they will serve our interests, we will instrument we will instrumentally destroy our society. We must agree to an objective process. We must agree to rigorously examine, to test, to interview all of those who want to come forward as judges. And we must agree to an independent process. You know, when, when we want to win in football, for example, in this country, in this same Nigeria, when we want to win, we choose the best. We want to win, we want to win the match. So we choose the best people. We know how to choose the best people. It's not that we have a problem with choosing the best people. Even if we want equal representation of every zone and every state, we know how. So it just depends on whether we, this, the elite, want this country to have the very best chance of success. If we do, we'll succeed. And let me just say as I close that there is no system that we're looking at where the people were perfect, whether it's the UK, the US. If you read the histories of the administration of justice in the UK, in the US, you will find that a lot of them went through what we're going through in many different ways. But at some point, they decided we are going to have the very best system possible. These were not perfect people. Many of them were, I mean, some of those who made these decisions were corrupt, politicians, businessmen, all sorts of people. But they decided, look, in our own self-interest, for self-preservation, we must do something to ensure that this society is run properly so that all of us can benefit. Because today you can own the judge. Tomorrow, somebody else owns the judge and then you're in trouble. Today you can decide who, who does what. Tomorrow somebody else. <laughs> so you, you, it, it's not, it doesn't make sense. And it doesn't make sense ultimately for society. So it is time for us to have this conversation. And it's a conversation that must be frank is a conversation that must take into account all of the various issues that we've experienced. It's not a finger-pointing conversation. You can't say, oh, judges are bad, judges are corrupt. No. They exist within a system that has put pressure, not only on them, but on even the process of becoming a judge. So I think that it is time for us to have this very, very uh, crucial and important conversation. And I think this uh, particular uh, webinar is an excellent uh, is an excellent platform for the beginning of that conversation. I'm glad that uh, the legislature is so well represented, the judiciary is also so well represented, and you know, of course, politicians are also very well represented. And there's so many of our colleagues, friends, and colleagues who are listening from across the country and who are participating. I can see from the chats that so much is you know so much is going on. But we need to have, uh, uh, we need to sort out 
uh, the, the, the administration of justice system. And just a final point, when in Lagos, you know, we decided that we we're going to have an objective process of selection of judges, we decided that anybody who puts who is put forward as a judge will be examined, there will be examinations, there will be tests, and then of course we had to provide for their welfare. We had to ensure that judges were, uh, were shielded from corruption by adequate provision for their welfare, for their remuneration, etc. Do you know that even then, people asked us, people asked us, uh, people, uh, politicians asked us, ah, this is our own turn to choose our own judges. This is our own turn to do this and that. We had to resist that and to say, look, this is not a matter of turn by turn. If we want this state to have the best possible judiciary, let's choose the best people because we're not going to be here forever. I want to be able to stand before a judge who I know will be fair, even if they don't agree with me. I don't want to stand before a judge who was chosen by somebody because they will serve their own interests. And we're not always going to be in office anyway. We're not always going to be in a position to influence things. So I, I really hope that um, this will be the beginning of, what, uh, of this very important conversation and that will ultimately lead us to the best administration of justice system. We have all the best minds in Nigeria. We have the best trained people. And there's absolutely no reason why we cannot have uh, men and women uh, in the judiciary. Even now in the judiciary, we have the best people. If we can prevent uh, them from being unduly influenced, if we can help them to do their jobs better, I'm sure that uh, our country will be set for, uh, great, uh, for great things ahead. So again, just to say thank you very much uh, to the organizers and to say thank you very much for, uh, to our local and international uh, participants and to all of you who have participated. Uh, thank you very much. God bless you. Uh, they